we make a simple point. We do not believe that Jesus was teaching ever to learned PhD. His message was to the public who came in large droves to hear him speak. He was offering them immortality, but he wasn't doing it in the way that you hear evangelicals do it today. You hear much about the Roman road. I cannot for the life of me understand why you don't begin with Jesus. The gospel began with Jesus. That's Mark 1.1. 1, 1. If you remember nothing else from what we say, please get hold of this stupendously basic fact. Mark 1.1 1, 1 says the gospel of Jesus Christ, the beginning of the gospel. Why in the world do people start with the cross? Christianity doesn't begin at the cross. It doesn't begin at Pentecost. It begins when Jesus began preaching the gospel. So having done Mark 1.1, 1, 1, you show your friends, you then go to the 14th verse of Mark, after John the Baptist was arrested, that tells you that it's a very precarious business being a believer, he was arrested. Jesus went into Galilee preaching, proclaiming the gospel about the kingdom of God. If you want to start with Christ, you're starting in the right place. Don't start with Paul. Paul, of course, was a perfectly accurate, attested witness to everything Jesus said. Paul preached exactly the same gospel of the kingdom as Jesus did. But why not begin with Jesus? 1.14, 1, 1, 1 and 1.14. You could go on doing just those two verses for the rest of your career, and you'll find it hard to break through the system, which never begins with 114. And there, the mission statement of Jesus. I repeat, the mission statement of Jesus. If Jesus had a website, his mission statement would be right there, Luke 4:43. Jesus said to them, I must proclaim the gospel concerning the kingdom of God to the other towns and cities also. That's why I was sent by God. Do you hear that phrase, gospel of the kingdom, resounding from Christian pulpits? I don't think so. Something is terribly wrong here. So let's get back to the gospel of the kingdom. I'll tell you why Jesus very briefly used the word kingdom of God, because he said, look, I'm the second Adam. He says, you know, I went wrong at the beginning. God gave rulership of the world to his vice regent, Adam. Adam failed by listening to the devil and learning to speak lies rather than the truth. So then the second Adam comes along, Jesus, claiming to be the second model human being. And he says, let's start with the kingdom of God because that's what we have to restore. We need to get a promise and gospel of coming world peace. May your kingdom come. Nothing remotely to do with going to heaven as a disembodied spirit when you die. Forget the when I die going to heaven bit. That's not biblical at all. That's just confusing you. And begin to think of blessed are the meek. They're going to have the earth renewed as their inheritance. Thy kingdom come. You'll find the Bible comes alive in an exciting new way if you just drop some of the language you learned wrongly in church. 